By watching this short video, you will be able to prove to yourself that the idea of God's plan is impossible. The goal of this video is to help believers understand this simple fact. If you believe in God, then you are familiar with God's plan. God's plan is the way that believers traditionally explain things like amputations, cancer, hurricanes, and car accidents. Even if something bad happens, it's actually good because it is part of God's plan. If you have ever seen this book, you know how pervasive the concept of God's plan is. The book is called A Purpose Driven Life. According to the cover, it is a number one New York Times bestseller. It has sold more than 20 million copies. We find this remarkable paragraph in chapter 2. Because God made you for a reason, he also decided when you would be born and how long you would live. He planned the days of your life in advance, choosing the exact time of your birth and death. The Bible says, You saw me before I was born and scheduled each day of my life before I began to breathe. Every day was recorded in your book. There is also this. Regardless of the circumstances of your birth and who your parents are, God had a plan in creating you. And then there is this. God never does anything accidentally, and he never makes mistakes. He has a reason for everything he creates. Every plant and every animal was planned by God, and every person was designed with a purpose in mind. Under this view of the universe, God plans everything. However, if you are a normal, intelligent person, and if you think about God's plan for more than 30 seconds, you quickly realize that God's plan is ridiculous and impossible. Let's look at four implications of God's plan. Implication number one. The book says, He planned the days of your life in advance, choosing the exact time of your birth and death. Let's examine one simple implication of this statement. What this means is that God has pre-planned every abortion that has taken place on our planet. God wants all these abortions to be happening. In addition, the mother who requests the abortion and the doctor who performs it are blameless. Since it is God who planned the abortion of the child, after all, God chose the exact time of the death, the mother and the doctor are simply puppets who are fulfilling God's plan. You can also see that all the Christians who are fighting against abortion are missing the point. They are actually clueless and fighting against God's plan. Their fight is completely futile. Implication 2 In the same way, if God chooses the exact time of death, then all murders are planned by God as well, and murderers are simply God's puppets. Murderers are completely blameless. Implication number three. Since God decided when you would be born and God knew who your parents would be, it means that every rape resulting in a conception must be a part of God's plan. All of these rapists should be rewarded for fulfilling God's plan. Implication number four. Who will you marry? You actually have no choice. Your spouse was pre-chosen by God for you so that you would create the children who are a part of his plan. You also have no choice in the number of children you will have. God has pre-planned their births. And where will you live? God plans that too. If God's plan were to be real, you have no free will and prayer is absolutely meaningless. So let's review. Do you believe that God plans all abortions? That murderers should go free? That rapists should be rewarded? That you have no free will? Probably not. Therefore, you cannot believe in God's plan. It is time for us to state the truth. God's plan is ridiculous. There is no plan. The statement, it is part of God's plan, is one of those meaningless ideas that believers use because they do not think about what they believe. If they would think, and if they would look at the data all around them, they would very quickly realize that God's plan is impossible and that God is imaginary. With luck, this video will help you to start thinking. Would you like to learn more? Please visit whywontgodhealamputees.com and godisimaginary.com.